actually sitting on the floor level in the second floor bedrooms. And when we go upstairs, you'll see them up close and personal. Mm. But by resting them on the first floor windows, it gives the illusion of a one-story house. The third floor, you can't even see. It's mm. hidden behind the balustrade. And he doesn't even use windows in those bedrooms. He uses skylights, another French innovation. So now you know the trick, let's go see the house. It's actually the little mouse. Everybody, welcome to Thomas Jefferson's home. This is the original house, of course, but more than that, it's 95% intact. What you're seeing is essentially what Jefferson would have seen, except for these scaffolds. <laughs> you didn't have those 200 years ago. Do you speak Finnish? Do I speak Finnish? Yeah. No. Okay, your sure name is Finnish. I know. <laughs> I'm from Finland. So oh. Nice sorry, to see you. Sorry, sorry about That's okay. No, Orphan Fair is a Finnish name, but I'm not Finnish myself. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> now, Jefferson called this his country home. Why do you think he built it on a mountaintop? For the view. For the view. Look at that. One of his visitors called that his sea view because it looks like the ocean, but it's actually the Piedmont region of central Virginia. You can still see 45 miles to the horizon from here, the same view he had. Now Jefferson was, of course, our third president. He was also the author of the Declaration of Independence. Those are the two primary reasons he was well known in his retirement years. But hundreds of unannounced visitors, just like yourselves, that have streamed up this little mountain eight months out of every year just to get a glimpse of him and maybe get a chance to shake his hand. They wanted to pay their respects to the man who wrote the Declaration of Independence. Now this